Hey, what's going on there, friends? My name is mg 2 and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Fire and Leaf Green. Alright, so last time we left off, we um, got to do Pokemon Tower. We also defeated Erica of, of the Celadon Gym. So, in this part, we're going to be making our way to the next city. Uh, first thing, uh, if you go up, up here, talk to her, and she's going to give you the TM27, which contains the, the move Return. It, uh, um, it actually... Um, the move gets stronger depending on uh, your Pokemon's friendship. So if your Pokemon really likes you, then most likely it will obey you. So uh, I'm gonna take advantage of this move, and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this move to Herman, cause I think Herman I think this suits Herman more. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of let's get rid of Pack, I guess. All right, one, two, three, and poof. All right. Okay, I guess I'll skip that. And there we go, we get return. And I think Do and I think uh, Herman actually likes me pretty pretty well, uh, so I think it should do pr a good amount of damage. Uh, uh, there we go. I'm gonna try my best to avoid as much chance as possible for right now, because there's actually four routes that you have to go through, and those are actually really long routes. Oh great. I went too early. The Fishing Fool versus Pokemon Kid. Who will win? Who will lose? So it looks like Herman actually does like me quite a bit. Oh gosh. Uh, there we go. Alright. And oh. I want, I, I want to battle these guys actually. Hey, Jess, if we win, I'll... Okay, so, what if you don't win? Does that mean you'll just not marry him? I'm gonna keep that in mind as I battle both of you. Alrighty, and oh, what do we got here? It's you! Oh my goodness, I, I, I like this theme. The Poke, the Poke Flute music. Oh no, it's angry. It's angry at me, I, I woke it up, so it's angry at me. Alright, so this is a Snorlax, alright. Now don't worry if you can't, if you're not able to catch this Snorlax, there is another one, so don't worry. Um, the Snorlax doesn't have a chest of berry, so let's see. Uh, okay, Snorlax does not work unless he is asleep, which he does have to move rest, so this is actually be a problem if he manages to pull it off. What the heck? Alright, well, that doesn't matter because there's actually another Snorlax, so I'm going to take advantage of the other one. Uh, so that's going to be fine. Alright, and then over here takes it to Vermilion City, uh, which I haven't really took a lot of damage, so, I'm, so I think I'm just going to just skip past the Pokemon Center for right now. Uh, if you go inside over here, talk to you, this is the Fishing Guru's younger brother, and believe it or not, the Fishing Guru's younger brother actually has the rod that's actually better than the Fishing Guru, which, which is very, very strange. I mean, it makes sense having, having his older brother having the better rod than him. Uh, but it doesn't make sense having his younger brother having the, uh, the, the better, the, the best one. But anyway, I'm gonna take advantage of, uh, of this, uh, so I'm gonna go back to Vermilion City, even though it's, it was just right there, I could've just walked all the way over there, but whatever, I'm lazy. Um, okay, so let's see, so we're gonna take advantage of this, and let's see. Uh, you can actually find, uh, horsies, uh, in Leaf Green. You can find horsies in Leaf Green, or uh, horsies in Fire Red, Krabby in Leaf Green, uh, Gyarados, uh, Psyduck in Fire Red, and Slowpoke in Leaf Green, and there's also another Pokemon, uh, in, in here as what well. There's also another Pokemon I, uh, in this city that I actually want to, uh, catch as my next team member, and that's why I'm fishing for it right now. He's, uh, if you finding Pokemon, at, um, finding uh, Pokemon uh, fit, that are fish out of the water, 
Um, they, they, they're actually at a pretty terrible level right at the moment, so I hope that when I actually find my team member, that's not going to be a bit uh, too much of a problem. And here he is! This is my final team member, everybody. This is Shelter. Alright. Uh, Shelter evolves with the Water Stone, um, which I'm actually uh, going to wait till uh, a certain level, because uh, uh, Shelter, I mean, I have a Water Stone in possession right now. I mean, and if I just evolve Shelter like now, then he won't learn a lot. And then. He's not gonna learn that much moves, and there's some pretty good moves that that Shelter learns as Shelter uh, that I want to take advantage of. So, um, all right. Uh, so I'm going to uh, do that, and withdraw won't do you a lot. And I am hoping that I can actually catch this Shelter before he gets poisoned to death. So I'm going to use a Great Ball uh, because the Great Ball is a better catcher than a Poke Ball. And there we go. Oh. So there we go. Shoulder is caught. All right. So let's see. Um, I'm gonna nickname. Oh, this is a good nickname for a shoulder. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think of this on my failed recordings. Uh, oops, spelled that incorrectly. But I'm gonna name a Sheldon. I'm gonna name him from. Named after Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory, because I love that show. Anyway, time to train. Okay, we're back. Alright. So, uh, we're going to continue onwards with Route 12. And, hey, 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 you are a special trainer class, because there are not a lot of these guys right here. Admit I shouldn't have sent out my um, shelter. I should have sent out shelter to battle two uh, electric Pokemon. That was actually my fault right there. Uh, good thing I bought revives, so that way this would be uh, less painful to make a trip back to the Pokemon Center. Uh, and I guess I'll just heal you up as well. Uh, so shelter is. Half bad and half good, I guess you can say that. Um, because, uh, aww, really? Okay, here we go. This time, this time we, ha we have somebody with us. So, let's put, so let's cut this tree down and fight this guy. I happen to have one, but I'm actually saving that not for you. Over here, you can, get you can get yourself an iron, which actually raises your Pokemon's defense stat. Uh, you know what? Since uh, I want to actually be able to make it to the next city, uh, so I am going to avoid you and make way over here. Uh, since there's grass, I guess I'll mention the Pokemon you can find here. Uh, new Pokemon you can actually find here. You can find Venonats, and you can find Gloom, which is the evolved form of Oddish, and Weep and Bell, the evolved form of Bellsprout, and those are, of course, exclusively found in this round. Um, let's see, I'm gonna use a Super Pell, even though, yeah, whatever. whatever. Uh, there's actually an item right here. Rare candy. I actually guessed that spot right on my first try. Um, so yeah, I want to go through these four routes. Um, at the by, so I want to actually be able to go through these four routes, uh, which is why uh, in this ep in this episode. Um, so uh, because there's actually going to be another uh, route to go through. 
I want to be able to show up most routes, and there's like lots and lots of trainers, and I, don't, I, and I don't feel like taking all of them on. And by the way, that is not a double battle up there, those are just two single battles both together. Uh, so, um, alright. Uh, let's see, I don't think... I don't think there's a hidden item uh, right by that guy, is there? Nope, there is not, so, um, alright. I want to be able to show up both of, both of these routes on, on uh, in uh, both ways in games of, in games of next city in this episode. Oh really? Why did I say no? Uh. Oh my goodness! Excuse me. Okay. So let's see. Oh, this is also a different route as well. So in this route, you can actually find uh, new Pokemon. You can actually find in this route right here. You can find Pidgeotos, which is the evolved form of Pidgey, and Ditto's, which Ditto's are actually a very interesting Pokemon. Uh, okay, there's no. Okay, there's nothing you can find in here, and that sucks because I just got myself poisoned. So I guess we shall just heal that poison up with ease. And there we go. And I. And in case if I run to a battle, I might as well just heal up, just like that. And boom. All right. See, I'm going to be avoiding trainers in this episode. Uh, I'll, I'll fight them off screen just to save some time. Okay, I, what? Okay. So, yeah. Can you please... Oh, I can avoid you. All right. And these guys are bicycle trainers, which, uh... They mostly use uh, poison Pokemon. You want to uh, know what they do. This is Route 14 now. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is, this is Route 14, and in Route 14, you can find pretty much the same Pokemon you could find in Route 13. I believe their encounter, encounter rate's different. Uh, is there anything if I go... wait. No, there's... okay, there's nothing. Alright, so I can just avoid these two. Um, I'll fight trainers if I have to, if I ha if I want to go, if I have to go for, like, items and all that. Which is actually a hidden item up there, but I think I have to go past these bicycle uh, bicycle trainers to, uh... Okay, never mind. Alright. See, so we're getting through this route really fast! Okay, yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, that that's... that's there's, a, there's an excuse for that. And I don't think my repel is on, so I'll just... There we go. Ooh, wait! Oh, there it is! Okay, that's... that was... That, okay, that was stupid. Alright. Ah! Alright. Um, oh, no battle. Okay, I'll take I'll take these guys on. Jan, let's try really, really hard together. I really don't want to miss out on an opportunity of a double battle, because that's just how I do things. Right here is a pineapple berry, I, I think that's a Pokeblock berry, I'm pretty sure, but if I remember correctly. Uh, but anyway, you can cut this tree over here, you can, uh, this is Route 15, uh, hopefully you can find here, you can find just about the same Pokemon, as usual. So. Uh, there's a bunch of trains that can go down there, which uh, I'm, which you can easily avoid them by coming up here. Uh, all right, I wanna. Oh, there's a double battle. This is this one's a double battle. So uh, I'll actually just I'll just see what you have to say right here. My sister gets really ang gets really scary when we lose. Oh, why? What does she do? Yeah. You come up over here, you can get yourself Team 18 for Rain Dance, which raises the power of water moves, raises the power of electric moves, and uh, lowers the, the power of fire. Uh, if you 
this guy is one of Professor Oak's aides. If you have 50 Pokemon, he will give you the experience share, which is actually very, very helpful. If you have weak Pokemon, then you can definitely take advantage of this thing right here. Um, it gives item, you can give it to an item, they'll receive experience, even if they didn't even show up in a battle at all, which is actually very nice. And welcome to Fuchsia City. Yes, the, the uh, next, uh, this is the city of the 5th gym, as you can see right there is the gym. Uh, there's there's uh, two ways you can actually get here, which I am actually now going to show up the other way. Okay, so the other way is actually over this way. We got to do is uh, head over here around 16. There's a snow ice over here, but I actually already took care of him. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you use the item finder right here where the Snorlax was, you can get yourself leftovers, which, um, heals, is it 1 16th of your HP, or am I, or is that another item that I'm thinking of? But, uh, I'm actually gonna give this to, hmm, I should probably give this to Brenda, actually, let me get Brenda back, she's back. Um, uh, also, in case you guys are wondering about the Snorlax, did I catch it or not? Yes, I did catch it. Um, I actually successfully did it without KOing it. If you head up this way, uh, this is one of Professor Oak's aids, and if you have 40 Pokemon, he, uh, he'll give you the Amulet Coin, which if you give it to a Pokemon, you'll get double the money, which is actually very nice. So, I'm definitely going to be giving this to... No, that is not the right one I want to go to. Oh, what? I did not do that. No, stop. No, controller. Thank you. Alright, let's give that to... Let's give that to Sheldon. And the experience share... I don't think I need anybody for... Yeah, alright, that's fine. Okay. Um, and then now... If you do not have a bicycle, the guard will stop you. Uh, so uh, you definitely do want to you, you definitely do want to make sure you have a bicycle, or you cannot access cycling road. Which um, cycling road is actually a shorter way uh, to get to Future City. Uh, so all right, now that's a lot of bike bicycle trainers right there. Um, Let's see. Uh, in route in route 17, the the cycling road, you can you can find Fero as your new Pokemon. That's it. Uh, so let's see. Oh man, you almost found, you almost spawned me. There's actually a lot of hidden items in here. So let's see if I can find them all. Okay, I knew you were gonna turn. I knew you were one of those trainers that turned. So let's see. Uh, first item is actually right here. Grab yourself a full restore. And, uh, next one is actually over here, in the middle of this road. Uh... Oh, uh, you're gonna have to fight this trainer for it, which is fine by me. Yeah, get off your bike, then! Alright, there we go. Alright, it's about time that you leveled up. I don't know why that took a while for you to actually gain a level. So we're gonna put Herman up front. Alright, let's see. Uh, alright. So that's the second side post right there. You can get yourself a power point up. And then the third uh, hidden item, which is actually right there. I think it's on either on that middle side or... I don't know. Uh, let's see. I think there's an item... No, I don't think there's an item next to that signpost, but the items are usually, like, by the signposts. Okay, no, it's, that's... there. Maybe there's an item on the other side, then, on that third side, probably. Uh, but I do know that there's actually an item somewhere... No? Really? Or is that another... Thing I'm thinking of, but alright, whatever. 
Um, I don't know every item. I don't know, like, where every item is on the top of my head, but... Let's see. Okay, that's a third side post. Let's see. Here we go. Grab yourself a rare candy. And then, finally... Uh... Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's a max survive right here. Alright. And then, let's see, what else we got? Oh! Alright. And there's definitely one by this side post. Yeah, here we go. And get yourself a max elixir. And then we're done. Alright. There's a couple more trainers you can fight, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, that guy's one of those trainers who trades. I believe it's gold, it's like, it's gold up for... I don't know, but but I do know that you have that you need a gold duck to trade with them. Okay, I did not mean to fight you, but whatever. So pop what you can find in here, you can find Dodo, Spiros, Raticates, Spiros, and Ratata. Ratata is, ironically, the rarest one you can find in that route. Alright, and so we're finally here in Future City, like we're actually here. Uh, so we got through both routes, I, I will make sure to fight all those trainers uh, off screen. And, um, alright. So let's see, let's uh, take a look around this place. Uh, this right here is the move deleter. You can uh, delete any move, and by any move, I do mean any move, including HM moves. So if you regret it teaching a uh, Pokemon in HM, then go ahead and do that. Uh, well, uh, okay, so this is the Fishing Guru's older brother, and this guy will give you the final Fishing Rod, which is a good rod. Uh, now in this game, if you get the super rod earlier than the uh, good, uh, good uh, than the good rod, which is pretty strange, but okay. Is there an item? I feel like there's an item. Oh wait, there could be an item. Where? Where exactly? Oh man, it's somewhere. Oh wait. Oh, I was standing on it earlier. There we go. We got. We found my own revive. Yeah. See what I did there? Um, and then this guy's house right here will be important later on. Uh, so let's see. Let's take a look around. Let's see. We got a Lapras. Alrighty. We need cut to actually go through that part. Oh, well, we also need. I think you need cut to actually. Okay. No. You can just go around. Got a Slowpoke, a Chansey, uh, a Voltorb. And I believe that's it. Oh, there's an Omnite and a Kangaskhan. And is there any other Pokemon? No, there isn't. This right here is a Safari Zone. You don't need Cut to actually go over here, but it's nice for shortcuts. But uh, next time, we're actually going to be taking on the Safari Zone, where you can pretty much catch all the Pokemon you need. So, um, alright. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.